The latest DLC for The Outer Worlds is a murder mystery. It's called Murder on Eridanos. It's going to be coming out on the 17th of March and you can check it out from the link below. For some reason Obsidian have given me early access probably because they think I will not be able to solve this in the hour they've given me to preview it. But what I will be doing is I'll be giving away a copy of this DLC to someone who leaves a random conspiracy theory. All you need to do is comment below who you think did the murder and why, and then just like the video and you have a chance to win. But now, let's begin. Here we go. Impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? You mentioned an Aether Wave drama. I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Oh. Okay. Chapter 12. Spoilers. It was the law forsaken parasites. Office goals. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. Hashtag sponsor. It was death. Bet that's the I life. made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? This game looks good in black and white though. Investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. <laughs> Mister, I mean, you could you couldn't have had more of a cheesy drama dev, though, could you? <laughs> How about I just call you Lau? How about not? <laughs> okay, Lau. Uh, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead, murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. And your first thought was to come to me. I question your logic. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, I've been looking forward to meeting Adjutant Akande's favorite gun. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. I'm having trouble seeing the death of a two-bit actor as an assault on the colony. Two-bit actor? Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals, Duchess of Dramaturgy. 
You would not believe the money she made us on dissident busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? <laughs> Please, Lou. Sublight Underground is built on discretion. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give her the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. I didn't realize I was playing a female, but I actually got given a save file to play through this. So I'm not on my main character because that's on the Epic Game Store and they gave me a Steam key. Thanks, Private Division, for the key, by the way. Gentlemen, please. As far as I'm concerned, you're both idiots. First sensible thing I've heard all day. Oh, uh, my Battle apologies, sister. Mr. Ludovico. That was unprofessional of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keane. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You are Adjutant Akande's most reliable freelancer. If the second most powerful person in Halcyon can depend on you, then I'd like to think we can depend on you. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Go eyeshadow on fleek, though. Just how many people are in this communication? Just the three of us. No one else gonna jump on unexpectedly? You must excuse us. The situation on Eridanos is tense. If we don't bring Helen's killer to justice, this scandal could scupper our entire operation. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. Oh, you can count me in on that. <laughs> no, no, we'll play it cool. I don't know. I'll see if I'm in the area. <laughs> I encourage you to consider this offer seriously. Maybe. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. All right, all right. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Oh, what can you tell me about Eridanos? Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos Atmospheric Complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere where humans are potentially capable of surviving. I have no idea why these people trust me, Ada. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Oh boy. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, information, <laughs> and genuine faith in your abilities. The last one is, is not convinced. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well... So Eridanus is just over here. Let's go ahead and fast travel over there. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, by the way, make sure you subscribe for the next episode. My god, that looks beautiful. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. Ah, uh, that's that's main storyline. Don't spoil it, Ada, no! I never repaired Sam in my main playthrough because Vicar, Max, and Parvati. Do you know what game? I will I will let you just make that choice. If it's brown, drink it down. Ooh. That is a sick battle station. It's pink. Mate, this is insane. Reminds me a bit of uh, Bioshock, you know, the, the last game. Not Rapture, the one in the sky. Got that Art Deco looking building as well. Parvati, why do you always want to talk? Tell me about your emotions. I can't believe Miss Helen's gone. It feels like it's going against the laws of nature somehow. I used to watch Helen's serials. She'd fall into mortal peril every couple episodes, but she always lived in the end. Right, she's dead, Parvati. I'm glad I could take you to see Eridanus now. How does it feel? Breathtaking. Have you looked over the edge of the complex yet? 
Just watch the clouds turning. It's like an ocean without end. It's really something. It just looks like clouds to me. It's more than just clouds, Captain. It's a marvel. Did you know there are storms in Eridanos that last for centuries? No. Eridanos is a hundred times the mass of Terra Two, eight hundred times the volume, ten times the diameter. We're flying through the tiniest layer of habitable atmosphere. Wow. Sometimes I can't believe how small my world used to be. My horizons were about as wide as the walls of Edgewater. And now look at you, top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way. Oh, Captain, it's beautiful up here. Could we... Could we get more jobs like this one? We can try, Parvati, but... So this, this is the world, and it looks pretty damn big, to be honest. So currently, this is Eridanos. I don't know if there's more sort of areas to explore beyond this, but... I mean, it looks pretty huge, doesn't it? And I really love the layout of this. It's very, very sci-fi. Let's take the lift downwards. Oh, they even have a welcome room. I should probably put my gun away, though. Slug marksman, eh? Oh my god, it's Santa! Hello, hello, hello there! Jesus. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Why do you have a Santa's hat on? Can you fill me in on the details? I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Ah, I should be interrogating wasn't you. in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. What did you do to her? Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling has been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow, has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. The fans were very upset by the weak plot contrivances in her latest offering, though that hardly seems a worthy motive. Jesus. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Typical show business indeed. Don't I know it. Reminds me of the shootout out in the lobby between Odeon Pictures and Rotor Reels back in the day. And you wonder why nobody mentions Rotor Reels anymore. Who the hell is Rotor Reels? Probably because they embarrass themselves. The CEO of the company boasted that his crew could operate better and longer than Odeon Pictures mechanicals. I watched as Dr. Goodnight dragged him out of the lobby while he slept like a baby. The rest of his crew folded in a matter of days. Let's see here. Oh, I already spoke briefly about the Spectrum unveiling, or lack thereof. It's still an awful shame. A lot of folks looking forward to that. Wait, I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo's. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Bags? What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage. Your belongings. Kit. Wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. <laughs> Suppose it's none of my business, but... Do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Ah, breaking the fourth floor. Maybe you should take that stupid hat off before you criticize my appearance. Hey, this is a hotel mandated piece of my uniform and it's very official. Even if it is a bit stupid. As long as you know it's stupid. Anyhow, I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Look at the hat. What is that? It's got a lightning bolt on it. You just said we aren't this guy's got a nice hat. Depart. Apologies, sir, but the atmospheric complex is on complete lockdown. No one's allowed in or out until the murder investigation's concluded. Do you have uh -huh. any idea who I am? I could. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Classic. All right, let's explore this place. It looks beautiful. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. 
You should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. I was in a wall past you until you started talking to me. The Grand Colonial, where the elite come to get away from their oh-so-difficult lives in Byzantium. Caramel and pea-free nuts in it. It's time that for a That logo is horrible though, right? Like, what is that? <laughs> this place is amazing. Mate, it's got the rings of Saturn, not Saturn. Eridias. The Eridanos. Alright, let's head on inside to the lobby then, my friends. If it's brown, drink it down. Ooh, feels like I'm breathing rich people air. You are, Parvati. Be careful. I, that's cost I'll bet money, you that 10 stuff. Bits. This is all just some sort of publicity stunt. Oh, I'll take you up on the offer. I can't believe Helen's gone. We're never going to get a sequel to Terror on Monarch. No one cares. With Halcyon Helen gone, does that mean Spencer Woolrich will get all her roles? I certainly hope not. That man doesn't even act as well as I do. Mr. King Cannon really knows how to run a hotel. That mustache though, god damn, you must be a good actor with that. The crime scene's awaiting, Inspector. Let's have a look. Can't then, believe eh? something like this could happen in my hotel. When I found her, I was just hoping she had a little too much to drink, but all the grievous bodily injury adds up, I suppose. I suppose? She was lying in a pool of blood and your first thought was, I wonder if she's drunk. Hey, Byzantines and restraint aren't two words that often go together. Wouldn't be the first blood-soaked, unconscious party gore I've come across. Anyway, I'm sure you've got questions. You want to give me some more detail about how you came across the body? Sure, I'd take into checking the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five-hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. Did you kill Helen? You can tell me if you did, it'll be our secret. <laughs> I really want to say that. What? No! Just because I found the corpse doesn't mean I made her a corpse. It's okay. I was in shift all day. Besides, I loved Helen cereals. Well, the old ones anyway. Oh. The newer oh. episodes are hot junk on a warm day. Oof. You had motive. Any idea where Helen could have been in the ballroom after hours? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was, uh, practicing for the unveiling? We got it, son. We got it. Murderer. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Run, run, run. Mystery solved. We are done here, my friends. Shortest let's play ever. Did you see Helen on the day of her death? Of course I did. I just told you I found the body. No. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Yes. Um, uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. You can tell me. Haven't you heard of Inspector Inspectee confidentiality? Damn it. I think we both know that you're itching to gossip. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the britches to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises with the profit of profitability. And didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Seemed especially strange seeing how, as far as... I was aware the two didn't get on. What's the deal with the profit of profitability? She's a guest. Uh, yep. Gives seminars on increasing profit margins and the like. Can't say much else, seeing how I ain't in the gossip market. Uh, why did Helen and Profit get along? As far as I can recall, Helen dismissed the lady's seminars in some kind of interview. Said her co-star used them, but she didn't. The top rungers are always ready to read between the lines of famous folks and seem to think the prophet was on her way out. Woman lost a ton of bits and is set to lose more. Hope all that helped. I'd like to be as useful as I can in the investigation. I just didn't want to steer anyone the wrong way. Got any idea who would have wanted to kill her? Everyone's got theories. I don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. We got it, son! We got it! Murderer! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Run, run, run. Mystery solved. We are done here, my friends. Shortest let's play ever. All right, then. Let's take the elevator up there. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. 
If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have a registered room key. If Excuse you lost me? your key, why don't you pay the hotel concierge a visit? I'm sure she can get you a new one. Then you can come back, and I'll service all of your vertical needs. Very, very alluring. I wish all elevators were this excited. Do we have to use the other elevator? Oh, this Black is the... Black birdies disappeared, you know. The poor fellow must be inconsolable. Excuse me, out of the way. Out of the way. I'm coming in. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. I was actually looking for the bar. Do they serve drinks with those little umbrellas here? Our dossier mentioned you had problems committing to a job. Oh. In accordance with Rizzo's company policy, I am required to give you this motivational message. Oof. I believe you will find that assisting your local Rizzo's security department is even more thrilling than the sweet, smooth flavor of Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. Dr. Goodnight, ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on? Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. Is it directions to the spa? Are you talking about that program? What was it called? Perspiring your way to productivity? No, what I have is much more invigorating. Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Ooh. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. <laughs> you make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. You are. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. Uh, I can feel it. How, how, do, how do I set it to kill? You don't. Although I really should have looked into that option. Yes, The discrepancy you amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Fantastic. This sounds like it was built along the theoretical lines suggested by the Hasline interpretation. Or do you favor the non-dualistic rationalism of Steinmetz? Oh, goodness, no. I don't care for OSI doctrine. I just enjoy their math. So it's a magnifying glass. It, yes. It's a <laughs> magnifying glass, but an extraordinarily powerful one. It looks through the glass of reality itself. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. Ooh. Ah! Oh, scanning for evidence. Oh my god, we actually get to play a detective. Dude, this is huge. Oh, it's also a weapon. Oh my god! Oh god! Jesus! Oh my god! That was not what I... Dr. Goodnight, I am so sorry! Please forgive me! E to analyze. That's what I didn't read. Oh, mate, she got 25 bits! <laughs> Captain, please show a little respect. That was 25 bits, Pave. What are you gonna do? Ah, oh, so this is what she was drinking. I like how there's a mark around where she died. Very nice. Hey, stop! Oh. The discrepancy amplifier is now operational. Greetings, designated inspector and or unauthorized arsonist. This unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Unscheduled expiration of. Begin amplification. Sure, let's get started. Smack it around a little. You'll speak when you're spoken to. Please do not taunt the discrepancy amplifier. Oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. No, please, please do not interrupt the discrepancy <laughs> amplifier. The discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. How curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's features <laughs> include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you oh god okay then let's get started tell me about this these footprints these giant footprints this footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the grand ballroom typically the ballroom is cleaned twice daily which means this must have been made by either helen or her assailant or assailants assailants taste the dirt 
Sometimes I question the choices that led me to sign on to your crew, Captain. <laughs> Discrepancy amplifier. Do the size of these footprints match anything on your record? Footprint is a tailor made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. A it is also the exact them. size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Hmm, I'm seeing some purple berry in this dirt. Amplifier analysis. Excellent observation, Inspector. The following compounds have been detected. Purple berry residue, nitrogen rich fertilizer, common grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purple berries can all be found in the purple berry orchards located not far from the Grand Colonial. <sighs> so Helen must have been at the auction before she died. Oh my god, we're gonna solve it this episode. Good work, Amplifier. Can we give him a name? I'm gonna call him Arthur. He seems Hi. like an Arthur. All buttoned up, but polite and kind of sweet. This Can unit I... has been programmed to simulate gratitude. Thank you, Inspector. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. Don't worry, I'll just use this gun that kills everyone in one hit. Any other clues in here? Hmm? Hmm? Clues? Clues? What? Where are these footprints going? So this is Spectrum Brown, eh? Let's have a look at this. Temperament plus one. Base health, minus 25%. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'll, I'll take all of them. Thanks. The purple berry orchards. And a footprint. Inspector, that was absolutely marvelous. Beautifully deduced. I'm very With smart. With the help of my discrepancy amplifier, of course. You mean Arthur? I'd like a word with you. Ah, I was waiting for this. Yes, of course. I'm only too eager to cooperate. We must accuse everybody in this place of being a murderer. Tell me about the body. Tell me about the body. What was the cause of death? My apologies, Inspector. I've not yet finished my autopsy. Come back later? No, it's not good enough. You're trying to hide evidence. How about you? Anything to report? I'd like to ask you some questions. Are you asking me these questions in an official capacity? Yep, got my Inspector hat on. I understand you're being metaphorical, but I'm contractually obligated to remind you that Rizzo's cannot provide you with any official brand associated headgear. Please, ask your questions. I'm very disappointed. I wanted the hotel hat stuff hat. Who found the body? Norval, head bellhop. He was understandably distraught. I believe his feelings were genuine. He's a remarkably poor actor. Hotel security corroborates his whereabouts during the murder. I haven't included him in my list of suspects, but Neither am I convinced of his innocence. He's 100% a suspect. He, there is something a little suspicious about young Norville. It must be the hat. I'm a little suspicious of anyone who enjoys his job as much as Norville. He's also obsessive in his appreciation of Helen's work. Obsessive passion can lead to irrational behavior. It's a fact of modern science. Any witness to the murder? Obviously not. If there were any witnesses, none came forward. Ballroom cameras were also offline at the time of the murder. How convenient! Helen was very particular about having cameras on her. Security footage would have constituted documentary filmmaking. Can't afford that. Okay, I see. Do you have any suspects? Spencer Woolrich and Bertie Holcomb are officially persons of interest in this investigation. I've mostly ruled out Mr. Woolrich, leaving Bertie Holcomb as my lead suspect. Let me rephrase that. He's your lead suspect. I've been instructed to turn this case over to your capable hands, while I continue to serve as a consultant. What makes them suspects? Mr. Woolrich was Halcyon Helen's professional rival. It's mm. possible jealousy drove him to take Helen out of the picture. I apologize for the wordplay. That is Conversely, wordplay. Mr. Bertie Holcomb was Helen's paramour. The relationship was reportedly dissolved. I can't rule out her murder as a crime of passion. Okay, okay, that's all Anything for now. Anything else? 
I will ask you more about these people when I meet them. But for now, we must. I must knew I should have barred her autograph when I had the chance. Oof. Look at these. Uh, it's quite funny though, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's let's go to our, our suite. Is this it? Oh no no, we have to go to the concierge. Why did you look like you're about to draw a weapon? You got a weapon behind there, brother? I'm sorry, ma'am, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, Do you know and who I am? massages are suspe- Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Who? Why, you. Me. While you're here, inspector, could I set you up with a room? That's why I'm here. Point me to the grand ballroom. Oh, the ballroom's right behind the tower elevators. Swing a left or a right, then cut through the crowd of spectators. You can't miss it. Fantastic. Wait, I need the key still. Give me the key. Why are you staring the grand at me colonial like that? Front desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. <laughs> I need access to the VIP guest floor. I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. The only guest who'd have a problem with me being up there would be the murderer. Hmm, that's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. Wanted to check if my room's ready. Ah yes, we are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Thank you, thank you kindly. All right, let's head up to, the to the top floor. I know you did it, bellhop. You've returned. All right, let's go ahead and take- What floor would you like to visit? I would like to visit the penthouse. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. We, if it's brown, drink it down. Oh, Parvati, how, wait, how, why are my followers here? How did you get, Ellie? I'm leaving my shoes on. Oh, I haven't killed your parents in this playthrough. That's great, isn't it? So we're still friends, fantastic. Good, good, good. Oh, you're at the barn, are you? Ah, I suspected as much. Yes, I, I remember all of you. Jesus Christ. I thought this was the best. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh. Oh, where is it? <gasps> What's this? The imprint left inside this suitcase matches the silhouette of Halcyon Helen's iconic handgun, the Needler. The weapon was recently removed. That gun looked insanely cool. It had like a big... Like, uh, what's that? Like a revolver barrel on on the uh, outside of it. I was very impressed. What are these schematics, eh? Oh, yeah, I'll drink that. I'll drink that. Nice one, brother. Is that a wig? <gasps> oh, my God, her career was a lie. She smoked a lot. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, and we have an email from Profit. I don't understand why you and me must be enemies, Helen. <sighs> He's the killer. Ooh, and then we have a message from Kin Cannon. Apparently, she wasn't just here to cover Spectrum Brown. Very interesting indeed. Okay, let's have a look in here. The toilet always has the details. Hmm. Helen, is there anything we can find here about you, Helen? Pavati. Do you think it's strange that I kind of miss Ada? That is weird. You have a relationship with that machine. What's this, eh? <gasps> board is covered with a loose collection of photographs and papers. Examine board more closely. It seems like someone intended to write something but never started. Okay. This is Helen and she died. The investigation is going well. The opulence. Oh, the opulence. Mm, yes. Okay, let's have a, a chat with administrator... Ladovico. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. Will she? 
You don't seem like you care. I still don't understand why you hired me. I'm good at causing murders, but definitely not solving them. I will be plain with you. I prefer not having to hire you at all. Oh. This matter should be resolved by Rizzo's security. But Cedric owns the land complexes, so we have a jurisdiction problem. Oof. Constable Keene encouraged us to hire a third-party freelancer. Right now, you're the best chance we have at resolving this incident and getting on with our affairs. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence. Constable Keene is a good judge of character. She trusts you with this investigation, so you have my cooperation and my support. A monolithic Back mistake. to the matter at hand. Tell me about your investigation. Well, I've got a lead. I can't tell you why, but I need access to the orchards. Your discretion is appreciated. I admit, I'm beginning to feel more confident in this arrangement. <laughs> Here, I'm Dear granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. How exciting. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. So he locks his door the moment the investigator arrives. That's not suspicious at all. I think it's just a red herring, but still. I'm going to be super suspicious of everyone. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport is Cedric's purview, not mine. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. Inspector. Nah. He wants to come with me on an adventure. Hi there, Inspector. It might be a little beyond my job description to ask, but at my heart, I'm still a bellhop. Was the suite to your liking? I didn't even know they made hotel rooms this large. Did I just ask you to talk to me? Just shut up and do your job. I see. Oh, I felt yes, terrible. I, I immediately I felt terrible. Was there a floor you wanted to go to or not? Uh, I'd like to visit the VIP guest floor. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. Pavati and Vic Victor Pavati. Let's go. If it's brown, drink it down. I'm going to have a quick search for clues here. Hello, Zake. Put that away, you're making me nervous. Zake? Was it you? Huh? You nervous? Does this make you nervous? Huh? Yeah, I thought so. Come on, gang. Let's open all the doors. What in the... How? <sighs> Never mind. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Is that an actual gang? Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly mm. cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second An discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. What is the recommended maximum? Science. Must have been some hell of a party. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Been tossing some balls in here, eh? Was Black Hole Bertie here? Insufficient data. A mm. brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This yes. unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. Bloody hell. Minus one, eh? Interesting. Oh, what's this? Uh, MKR level 30 pistol. Okay, don't quite. Guys, try to be more discreet. Come on. What else is in here? Why is everyone passing so hard in this place? Oh, chapter two, hey? A collectible. Oh, signed Tospel stick. Who's it signed by? Spacer's Choice. Bertie Holcomb believes his signature tossball stick must actually bear his signature. It's scratched into the handle and smeared with old blood stains. Very nice. Oh, tossball card. Shh. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, oh there's muddy footprints. We're on to something. Single footprint. Size 10. Tossball cleat sized. Ooh. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. Must be from the orchard. That's all mine. There. Guys, stop being so obvious, please. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. 
Oh, where is it? Oh, is there another discrepancy? <gasps> the bin! What's this, eh? The charred fragments of a letter lies at the bottom of this waste basket. Ah, perception. Hmm, I can make out the words station, meeting point, and emergency. Convenience that they're still there. Your observation is correct and quite astute. Station, meeting point, emergency. You think it's talking about the atmospheric station? Or maybe the pilot house? Could be anywhere. Probably something with the word station in. Poke the ashes. Any idea what happened? Someone burned this letter shortly after Halcyon Helen's death. Ah, so she met someone there, went to the orchard, and then died. Interesting. Can we pick this up as evidence? No. This computer is off. Oh, there's a picture of Helen! Looking saucy. Jesus, why am I in the shower? God, I didn't make it to the toilet, mate. Goodness me. That hell of a party time in here, eh? Let's ask Zeke. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? Why is there a woolly cow in one of the rooms? Uh, we sort of borrowed her from the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve while we were drunk. I have no idea how we managed to sneak her in here without being spotted. Don't worry, we'll return her safe and sound. Mostly sound. Hungover is still sound, right? Her name is Hungover. Fantastic. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? Is that so? Tell me about Bertie and Helen. Oh, Bertie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Do you think Bertie could have killed Helen? What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. I actually believe you. Can you think of anyone who would want to kill her? Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me? I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. Where were you at the time of the murder? I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other Rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. What's Bertie in jail? Was Bertie in jail with the rest of you? No, we lost him somewhere along the ah. way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. Aha! But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? That's a nice belt, brother. Alright, any other rooms? You gotta do the other side. So these are currently locked and I don't have the skill to unlock them. Then there's another room here. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A purpleberry bunch is here. Discrepancy detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Ah. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil, terroray, blood, terroray, unidentifiable biological fluids, terroray. Oh, very nice. Were these added later? Taste the substance. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is toxic. This unit's chemical analysis agrees with your assessment. Inspector, please control any impulses that lead you to ingest dangerous substances. These must substances try cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. This bottle contained Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. The presence of terroray biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. Ah, let's move on. I'm going to try that myself if we ever find a full bottle of it. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Can I play along? Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Draw your weapon. 
Huh? Wow, did you know I was a captain? <laughs> You'll never take over Halcyon, you fiend. How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. No, no, this is curious indeed. Who are you? And how did you get in here? Just a marauder. No sudden movements. I'm going to take everything not tied down. Oh, what a quaint claim. You're so adorable. I won't even call security. No, really, I mean it. You've most certainly endeared yourself to me. And I think I know why you're here. Now... What shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. Make a rude gesture. How about you sign this? Why are you asking to sign things? Are you okay? You can sign my weapon if you want. <laughs> I'd be delighted. Oh, damn. My pen's out of ink. No! I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. Yes. I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <clears throat> Hello. Ha <laughs> ha. Fold your arms. Hello. <clears throat> uh... Hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Uh, back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a straight answer. Who are you? <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Never heard of you. Uh, that can't be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in The Masked Marketeer? The Busker of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts, and a woman with no talent. A two-ton bucket of bolts, eh? Yes, that would be Burbage 3001. I'm sure you've heard the clomping around. It's over in the next room. It's hard for me to believe that a mechanical actor isn't some kind of joke played on us all by Odeon's director. <laughs> I think so. I'd like to ask you about the murder. Certainly. But one... Quick question before we begin, if you I may not. May. You may not. How was it that Bellamy met her end? Oh, creepy. Painful, I'd say. Why are you so curious? Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. Hmm. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. All right, speaking theoretically, how would you have killed the victim? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. Fact you're considering it, though. Did you know Helen well? Where were you at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. You were meditating, really? All actors have their methods. And this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. Ah. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. 
Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. How long have you worked with the Prophet? Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. I'll answer. Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Did you consider yourself a friend of hers? Must not have been too flattering always starring alongside a younger actress. Oh, it wasn't. And don't think I haven't picked up on your tone. <laughs> Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Enough. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. I don't think he murdered her. Would be way too obvious. Alright, let's have a look next door. So this is the robot actor. What the hell? Is that oil? Damn, he's been having a good time in the shower, right? Goodness me. Pick up energy canister. Oh, so that's what he gets as his little, like, pillow gift. The other person got some berries. Doesn't count as stealing from a robot. That's cool. Oh my god. I'm going to take all of these hats. Haha! -ha! Now I have your hats. Everyone in the party must wear a top hat. Fantastic! <laughs> yes. Initiating banter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Greetings, okay. theater aficionado and or dumbstruck fan. You are standing in the vicinity of Burbage 3001. The latest and therefore greatest auto-mechanical actor ever designed. I've never heard of you. Burbage models have appeared in Halcyon's most popular Aetherwave Drenter Protocol exhausted, reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair. <laughs> oh, Halcyon Helen, may your atoms be commended to the Aether. <laughs> You knew Halcyon Helen? Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's ah. programming is based on Helen's most famous roles. Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. <laughs> At least it's honest. It almost sounds like you've got a motive for murdering her. Now running shock and dismay protocol. What's this? Helen's death was a murder? How horrifying. Bring that killer to justice, designated authority figure. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Randomizing despair tables. <laughs> oh, Helen. Is there no justice in the world? Who upgraded you? Ah, that we can't ask that. We don't have engineering. That robot is definitely... Oh my god, he used to be like a cook or something? Or is that his wife? <laughs> Lol. Alright, let's head down and out into the orchard. To the lobby we go! So apparently the orchard is over there in the distance. And I can see some beautiful trees in the background. So let's head over there. Is that a pool? Ugh. This smells worse than rancid salt tuna. Oh, well, I think it's coming from the pool. Dude, I guess you can't hide that rifle anywhere else, can you? A sprat, eh? Maybe the timeline discrepancy detected nearby. 
Oh, what's this? Something here. Analysis hit. reveals the chemical signature of this compound is 80% semblant of fertilizer used in the purpleberry orchards. The other 20% is semblant of pool water. Ah, okay, okay. So everything is pointing us towards the orchard so Anyone far. Anyone up for a game of sudden death knockout? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Okay, Parvati. Bit strange. <laughs> Maybe you haven't heard, but we're in the middle of a lockdown. No one's supposed to be coming or going. And when I can't get a hold of anyone in the orchards, I can't make sure of that, can I? No, Miss Vargas. Sorry, I'll work on getting a hold of someone. Great. You do that. I'll be waiting right here. I don't think she's moving, buddy. It seems like there's a few bridges in between here and the orchards. I don't know what we're gonna find here. Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies. Wow. That's good. Oh, my legs. Jesus. Here we go. Get wrecked, son. Oh, God. Pavati, save me. Marauders. Here goes nothing. Oh, get wrecked. It looks so funny when she just has a top hat. She, like, yeets someone over the head. Goodness me. It's been a while since I played. Victor, That's not attack. possible. It's not possible. Don't worry. Yes, my man, to go. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, Pavati's dead. She's Is actually right? dead. Oh Jesus, thank god. She actually ragged old. I thought she died. Holy oh my goodness. Scared the crap out. Look at how beautiful this is. This game looks wild. Oh, dude, this looks so cool. All right, my friends, before we go into exploring the orchard, look at the size of this place. This is huge. I'm going to end today's episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe. I'll link the playlist down below. 